What's going on guys? I hope you are doing well on your side of the internet. Today I'm going to be showing you the new leaked Pixel launcher on my Nexus 6P. This is basically the continuation of the Nexus launcher which we saw drop a couple of weeks ago. This fits in with all the news and rumours we've been getting that Google are going to be dropping the Nexus brand at the end of this year and they are going to launch some new phones probably made by HTC under the Pixel branding. This does kind of make sense in their general project of unifying Android across different devices. So you've got Android on obviously tablets and phones. But this is the Pixel launcher and it's very similar to the Nexus launcher we saw a while back. We've got the new app drawer, which is just a swipe up from your dock. And obviously this means you can do away with having an app drawer button. You can just have sort of an app bar at the bottom. At the top, we've got the new search and date widget. I'm not quite sure what to call this search widget. I've seen it being called the button or the bean, um, the tab. I think I quite like tab. So we've got the search tab and the date widget. If you click the search tab, it will take you to a Google search. If you are rooted, you can install this on a system level and it will allow you to also pull that tab and swipe left to launch Google Now. The biggest change so far is that they have a new live calendar icon. The one issue is that it's now a blue calendar sitting on a white button and this doesn't really fit with the more minimal aesthetic that Google have gone for with a lot of their other icons. If you go into wallpapers, the picker is now a vertical scrolling tile list of different wallpapers. You've got support for live wallpapers and obviously you can choose from your own photos. There is a new option where you can choose a bunch of photos and hit daily wallpaper and this will pull a daily wallpaper from 500 pics to your phone every day. And there is a setting to force your phone to only do this over Wi-Fi. So there you are guys, that is a quick look at the new Pixel launcher. If you want to download this, you can go to the links in the description. As I said, I got these from Android Police. Um, you can generally trust Android Police to have APKs which don't have anything dodgy in. If you go to the description, download the zip file. There is the APK for the launcher and there is the APK for the wallpaper chooser. You need to install both. If you are rooted, you can go ahead and flash these as a zip file and this will give you the swipe left for Google Now functionality. So there you are guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please do like it if it was useful, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, you can follow me on all my social media or whatnots with the links in the description, and as always I will see you guys in the next video, peace.